Have you ever wondered how narcissists manipulate you into lying? In the fascinating world of psychology, understanding narcissistic manipulation is crucial. You see, narcissists have a knack for bending reality to their will, often leading others to engage in deceptive behaviors, even against their better judgment. We're about to unpack 10 ways narcissists can manipulate you into lying. From the gaslighting gambit, where they twist truths to project their actions onto you, to the pathological projection, where they make you doubt your own perceptions and memories. We'll explore tactics like the guilt trip guru, the master of misdirection, the blackmail bully, and many more. Each of these methods serves a purpose in the narcissist's playbook, often to maintain control and exploit vulnerabilities. So buckle up and prepare for a journey into the mind of a narcissist. Stay tuned as we delve into these 10 manipulation tactics. The first manipulation tactic is the gaslighting gambit. A complex maneuver, gaslighting is designed to distort your reality. The narcissist twists truths, denies events, and projects their own actions onto you. This carefully crafted distortion creates a perplexing reality where challenging the narcissist's narrative becomes a Herculean task. In this bewildering state, your memory feels like a traitor, your perception seems flawed, you start questioning your own experiences, and the narcissist's version of events starts to sound more plausible, more real. This is the power of the gaslighting gambit. Before you know it, you're caught in a web of self-deception. You might find yourself lying to others, not out of malice, but to maintain a sense of sanity. A lie to align your reality with the one the narcissist has fabricated. A lie to appease the narcissist's version of events. This mind game can lead you to lie just to maintain your sanity. Next, we have the guilt trip guru. This is the narcissist who has mastered the art of emotional manipulation by leveraging your empathy and sense of obligation. They subtly blame you for their unhappiness and manipulate your fear of disappointing them. They are experts at turning the tables, making you feel like the cause of their problems. Like a puppeteer pulling at your heartstrings, they can make you feel guilty for situations you have no control over. Consequently, you might find yourself fabricating stories or concealing information just to avoid conflict or to fulfill their unreasonable demands. You might even catch yourself lying to keep the peace, to prevent their perceived disappointment, or to alleviate the guilt they've skillfully placed on your shoulders. It's a relentless cycle of emotional manipulation, a guilt trip that seems to have no end. Remember, it's not your responsibility to shoulder their happiness. This emotional manipulation can lead you to fabricate stories to prevent conflict. Thirdly, we have the master of misdirection. This is a particularly cunning manipulator who uses diversion as a powerful tool. Picture this, you're in a conversation, perhaps discussing a recent event or expressing a concern. Suddenly, the narcissist is steering the conversation away from the original topic and towards something entirely different. Maybe it's a past mistake you've made or a flaw they perceive in you. You see, the master of misdirection is skilled at shifting the focus away from their own actions and onto you. They know how to change the subject subtly enough that it can leave you disoriented, wondering how the attention was diverted to you. This clever misdirection can put you in a defensive position where you may feel the need to justify your actions or defend yourself from their accusations. In the heat of the moment, you might find yourself resorting to lies simply to deflect the unwarranted blame. This tactic can trap you into lying to defend yourself. The fourth tactic is the blackmail bully. This is a strategy where narcissists exploit your fears and vulnerabilities, using them as leverage to get what they want. They might threaten to expose secrets to reveal those things about you that you'd rather stay hidden. Or they could use the more subtle method of withholding affection, using your desire for their approval as a weapon against you. These threats and manipulations create an environment of fear and uncertainty. You might find yourself lying, not because you want to deceive, but because you're trying to protect yourself. You might lie to keep a secret hidden or to avoid the pain of their emotional withdrawal. This fear-based manipulation is a powerful tool in the narcissist's arsenal. It's a way for them to control and exploit, to bend you to their will. And in the face of such pressure, lying can seem like the only option for self-preservation. This fear-based manipulation can force you to lie to protect yourself. The fifth tactic narcissists use is the triangulation trap. This is a classic maneuver where the narcissist cunningly pits people against each other. You might find yourself in a situation where you're forced into a competitive dynamic, even when you didn't sign up for it. This could be with friends, family, or even colleagues. The narcissist, being the puppet master, controls the strings, creating tension and conflict to serve their own needs. 
The pressure and the false accusations may compel you to take sides, and in doing so, you might feel the need to exaggerate or outright lie to defend yourself, or to gain support. This is a trap, a cleverly laid out snare where honesty can seem like a liability rather than a virtue. The narcissist's scheme thrives on this discord, distorting your reality and pushing you to compromise your honesty. This competitive atmosphere can lead you to lie to gain support. Next, we have the selective truth spinner. This is the master weaver of stories, spinning a web of half-truths and omissions. They're the ones who tell you an account of events that seems plausible, but crucial details are missing or twisted to suit their needs. These are not outright lies, but they're not the truth either. They're somewhere in the middle, a gray area designed to serve the narcissist's agenda. You might find yourself reacting to this, trying to fill in the gaps or correct the skewed narrative, and in doing so, you might end up lying yourself. You might feel compelled to set the record straight, to bring balance to the distorted picture they've painted. But in doing so, you're falling right into their trap, playing their game, and further entangling yourself in their web of deceit. This tactic can compel you to lie to correct their narrative. The seventh tactic is the white lie whisperer. Now this is a particularly crafty strategy, where narcissists cultivate an environment where small, seemingly harmless lies are normalized. It's like a snowball that starts rolling down a hill. At first, it's just a tiny fib, maybe something as simple as agreeing with their incorrect recollection of an event. But these white lies gradually increase in size and frequency. It's a subtle and insidious process where the lines between truth and manipulation begin to blur. You might find yourself bending the truth more often, not out of malicious intent, but because it feels necessary to keep the peace or avoid their displeasure. It's a dangerous cycle that can erode your sense of honesty and integrity. This desensitization to dishonesty, fostered by the white lie whisperer, can make it easier for you to lie. It's a slippery slope that can lead you down a path of larger lies and deeper deceptions. The eighth tactic is the public persona puppet master. Now this is an intriguing one. Imagine you are in the company of a narcissist who is a master at crafting a flawless image for the outside world. They are adept at controlling the narrative, carefully curating an image of perfection and success, and they expect you to play along. This facade is not just about them, it's about you too. You are an extension of their public persona, a character in their well-written play. You are expected to maintain this image, to uphold their veneer of perfection at all costs. You become a puppet in their public persona's theater, your strings pulled to make you dance to their tune. And what happens when this image is threatened? The narcissistic puppet master pressures you, sometimes subtly, sometimes overtly, to lie or conceal the truth. This pressure can lead you to lie to protect their image. The ninth tactic is the double bind dilemma. This is a particularly cunning strategy where narcissists present you with conflicting demands or impossible choices. It's like being caught between a rock and a hard place, where you're damned if you do, and damned if you don't. The narcissist might insist on having their cake and eating it too, leaving you in a state of constant confusion and frustration. Imagine being asked to choose between your own needs and the narcissist's demands. No matter what you choose, you're likely to face criticism, judgment, or disappointment. You're stuck in a no-win situation, a dilemma where any answer feels wrong. And what happens when you're cornered like this? You might feel compelled to lie to create a narrative that somehow satisfies the narcissist's conflicting demands. It's a desperate attempt to find a way out, to navigate the treacherous waters of the narcissist's manipulation. This desperation can drive you to lie to escape the situation. Finally, we have the pathological projection. This is a particularly insidious tactic where the narcissist projects their own lies and manipulations onto you. It's as if they're holding up a distorted mirror, reflecting their own dishonesty back onto you. They make you the villain of their narrative, accusing you of the very actions they themselves are guilty of. This tactic can be incredibly disorienting, causing you to doubt your own perceptions and memories. You may find yourself questioning your own truth, wondering if perhaps you're the one who's been dishonest all along. This self-doubt can be a powerful force, one that might push you into a corner where you feel the need to lie as a defense mechanism. Remember, this is a manipulation strategy aimed at maintaining their control and shifting blame. It's crucial to recognize it for what it is, a distortion of reality designed to serve their narrative and not your own. This self-doubt can lead you to question your own truth, potentially leading you to lie. These are the 10 ways narcissists manipulate people into lying. We've walked through the manipulative labyrinth of the gaslighting gambit, guilt trip guru, master of misdirection, and the blackmail bully. 
we've explored the triangulation trap, selective truth spinner, and the white lie whisperer. We've delved into the public persona puppet master, the double bind dilemma, and the pathological projection. Each of these tactics reveals a different facet of how narcissists can distort your reality, making you doubt your own perceptions and even resort to lying. But remember, lying is not the root of the problem, but a symptom of a deeper issue. It's the manifestation of the control a narcissist exerts and the exploitation of your vulnerabilities. Prioritize your emotional well-being, set boundaries, and seek support when needed. Break free from their manipulative web. Remember, lying is a symptom of a deeper problem. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment.